Hi there, Dr. Sheep. You're welcome back to Chicho Thoughts, episode 175. Again, I'm your host, Dr. Sheep. Join my co host, Anonymous Phil. Yes. Wow. So much enthusiasm. Roll the intro. No more than last time. No more than last time. Hi, how are you? All right. <laughs> you? Swell. I'm doing swell. I finished the box. You know, I kind of like the, uh, the, that's the best I could do. It was just a piece of paper taped on there. Yeah. But honestly, I kind of like the look, you know? Yeah. And uh, it now weighs probably 70 pounds, so. Yeah. <laughs> There's 50 pounds of lead shot, and then I think the box is like 20 pounds. After, no, it couldn't fit 20 pounds. How much is the uranium? Imperceptible compared to the rest. Oh. It, uh, so now it's sitting in there now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not that it ever needed to sit in there in the first place. And where's the box going to go? <laughs> back back in the closet at some point. Oh. Whenever I decide to pick up 50 pounds of lead shot and heave it up there. How much lead percentage is the shot? Uh, it's 100%, I'm pretty sure. Is it? I don't know. I threw the bags away already. Oh. I, uh... Yeah, that's fun, because, you know, it's a lot of lead dust, and you're just like, hmm, I don't want to breathe this in. I also don't want to just rub lead dust everywhere, so... You'll be fine. We solder with lead. <laughs> I'm just fine. You're dropping a few IQ points every day you use the solder, po the solder, aren't you? No. No? No, I wouldn't think so. Okay. So in a few years, and you're just like... Oh, yeah, solder this. Don't come crying to me. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing it for a couple years now. I seem to be doing just fine. You think? I'm just, I'm still kicking. <laughs> That's a bad thing if you're kicking. I'm still kicking. That means you're having neurological problems. No, that means I'm still alive. Something. Well, the lead doesn't kill you right away. You're going to have a variety of other symptoms before the lead poisoning ever kicks in. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, uh, oh god, I thought there was something I want to talk about, but then I forgot because I started watching Archer. Now I can't remember. What is that person doing out there? It's a person Squirrel. out in the marsh. <laughs> There's a person out in the marsh. I didn't know what they were. I think you're the one with neurological damage. <laughs> Very possible. Gets distracted easily and can't remember a conversation. Uh, can't well, remember a possible conversation. Yes. There was a, I feel like there well, was a... train just seemed to just leave the station never to return. There was something I wanted to show you. But, I'm sure there was. But now I can't remember. Dementia. It's not dementia. I wonder if it's in history, possibly. Oh, yeah, it was this. So, Linus Tech Tips bought oh, a Oh, yeah! The, Linus Tech Tips bought a CT machine. But not, like, one for humans, but for... Computers. Yeah, so... I I was like, ooh, imagine if we had a C... Imagine if we had an X-ray gun. Granted, I want... If I'm going to get an X-ray machine, I, I just want a, an X-ray spectrometer. So, you know, you can just, like, hold it on something and go, meep, and it tells me the chemical readout of that thing. Mm -hmm. Cody had one from the from his university. Yeah. <laughs> he would stick his guider counter in front of it and shoot the guider counter. I kind of get pretty angry when you do that. But imagine how cool that would be. You don't seem too thrilled about having an x-ray machine or... No. What do you mean, no? What do you mean, no? Have you ever just thought, like, I wonder what that's made out of? You could just, you could just find out like that. No. No? 
No. No, you just you just go around blissfully in the world and just like, oh yeah, this is weirdly heavy. Oh yeah, it's just with an arc cord. But yeah, I know. Yeah, see, see <laughs> who's who's freaking <laughs> IQ points drop now. <laughs> no, it's not dropped IQ points. It's just called don't care. That's called depression. You know what? You know what can cause depression? Not caring. Lead. Not caring. You know what not caring is caused by? Not caring. Lead. <laughs> not caring. It's all the lead. It all comes back to the lead. Have you noticed your water's been sweeter than normal in your apartment? No. Okay, good. If you do, stop drinking it. Why? Is your water sweeter than normal? No. But if your water starts to taste sweeter than normal, stop drinking it. That means you're getting lead salts in there. The first uh, replacement sugars were lead salts. You know, I mean, they knew it was poisonous, but they didn't care. So, you know, some people, you know, they're like, ooh, sprinkles on lead on my t bread today. Mm -hmm. oh, what wonderful. Just, why not, right? Just why not? Mm -hmm. That's one of those weird elements, because everything radioactively decays into lead. And then we're just stuck with lead. Forever. Mm -hmm. Not really heavier than lead, anyways. I guess it's something that's lighter than lead. Can't decay into lead, but... Yeah, it decays heavier out of your element. Oh, unless it decays via the beta process, then I guess it could decay into lead, but... It gets heavier. Well, it gains a proton, loses a neutron, and... you know but that's 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 something else oh yeah so i watched are we not really going to talk about the x-ray gun because i wanted to talk about that more but i guess what did you want to talk about wouldn't it be cool to have an x-ray gun i suppose or a ct machine i suppose you don't care do you no fine i watched a mark rover video yes i watched a mark rover video and, I thought you don't like him. Well, the thing was, Safety Third already talked about the video. And so I was like, okay, that sounds interesting. And so when the video actually went up, I was like, all right, I guess I'll watch it. So uh, he was talking about how to take care of drones, you know? Because we have all this air defense to take out, you know, fighter jets and that kind of stuff. Nothing to take out hobby drones. And hobby drones can be very dangerous and he talks about like the six ways to do it but he missed one of the ways now i don't know if he missed it because it's just not practical or if i don't know i don't know i don't know why he would miss it but he you know he talked about the three the six ways to take out a drone you can hack it you can shoot it with microwaves you can shoot it with a laser uh can hit it with another drone. Can stop it with a net. There was another one. I can't remember. But the point is, I but none of those. Um. Uh, but they missed the whole idea of oh, I don't know. How about using a particle accelerator? Yeah, everyone just has those in their back pocket. Well, no, but if you're the U.S. military, you know, and they make they. You know, when you go to get cancer treatment, they literally have a particle accelerator sitting right there to to douse you with X-rays and the X-rays with uh, to douse you with electro uh, with beta radiation, and they can adjust the strength of it so they can adjust the penetration of it so they get it exact so it parts most of its energy exactly where they want it to target the tumor and nothing else. It's really cool, but so I was just like, well. There's there's a thing, direct uh, directed energy weapons is actually what they call lasers and they want they use particle accelerators. So my question is, well, because he talked about the lasers could be defeated with a pie tin, and the microwaves could be defeated with copper tape, but I'm like none of those are going to stop beta radiation or proton radiation. They're going to go of paper. right through. What doesn't paper stop beta radiation? It stops alpha radiation. What's paper? Is it... Paper stops alpha radiation. Then, then what's there's some? I thought there was something simple that stops beta. Lead. No, that, I thought that was gamma. Oh, 
It's concrete. You can't put concrete on a drone. It is concrete. So, I was just like, well, what the... You can't put anything light around a drone that can stop it from that can stop the beta radiation. Not that I'm aware of, but maybe the U.S. but maybe the military and them know different. So I'm like, why not? You know, particle center, me, 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 and just take out drones that way. It's just a thought. It's just a simple little thought. But you know, why not? Right? I think it would work. I don't know. There's got to be other more creative ways. And they did, they show them in the video. And actually, I just saw uh, Backyard Scientist just upload a video <laughs> of, of what he used to take out the drones. He didn't build it, though. He just bought, he just rented it. They actually used it to get rid of birds. It's a giant uh, vortex cannon. Except they use propane and oxygen they boom really cool so i don't understand why mark roper didn't use beta radiation i just can't because you're not going to be able to put anything light enough on the around the drone and by that point you might lose all your uh nimbleness there's other materials you're not thinking of I, chrome was already open Which one can I use? to the right no it's the right uh, do you know you're right and left i wanted to choose that one don't use that one. And plus, it's already open over here. Oh, what's wrong with that one? I don't use that one. Don't use that one. What is that one used for? Nothing. That's I, I can't get rid of it. Okay. Without deleting my account, so I don't use it. No, it's not for what you think. It literally just sits there. I can't get rid of it. Clothing, sheets of plastic, a thin sheet of aluminum foil. Huh. Really? Oh, several feet of concrete or thin sheet of a few inches of lead may be required to stop the more energetic gamma rays. That's gamma. We're talking about beta. Huh. Okay. So it doesn't take anything to stop the beta. Okay. So then, okay, protons. We just use protons. Whatever. Fuck it. Or neutrons. We just cover it in aluminum foil. You're good to go. Because we can't accelerate neutrons. Which is what they were already doing. They're just wrapping it in... But he should have mentioned it, though. I'm sorry. What? What am I apologizing? I didn't even watch protons? the video. We should use protons. Because protons should be able to get through just like neutrons. They just go through anything. Can't accelerate neutrons, about unfortunately. Anything. Neutrinos go through anything. Yeah, but you can't, impart, you can't accelerate enough neutrinos to kill something. They'll interact with enough matter to do anything. No, uh, that's what you meant. No, no, no. We want it to destroy the drone. So we need it to go through the shielding and then impart its energy before just leaving. Yeah. That's the trick. Yeah. What about protons? No, no, no. Protons, no. They bounce off. Do they actually? Yes. How come a neutron can penetrate but a proton can't? Is it just because the neutron's not charged? No. I, well, yeah. The proton has a charge. Yeah, but if it's traveling near the speed of light. That's how they found out the, the atomic radii of atoms. They bombard it with yeah, protons. Yeah, but it bounced it. off gold. Gold's like literally, you could, if it wasn't so damn expensive, you could use it as freaking radiation shielding. Although you shouldn't because it does turn radioactive if it's bombarded with enough neutrons. So that's why you can't use gold. But, other than the fact that it's super expensive and it will turn radioactive. But you could. You could. You're not, but like well, I said, you you're not going to line your thing with gold or anything heavy. It's going to have to be light. Aluminum. Aluminum, that doesn't stop. Aluminum doesn't stop. Fine. Well, we got to figure out. I guess we It's right there. Aluminum foil. Stops beta radiation, but not alpha that, or neutrons. Like paper will stop alpha. Sorry, not. You know, protons and neutrons. You're not stopping protons and neutrons with a piece of paper or anything. Neutrons. God, you need a lot of shit to stop neutrons. So. Let's look that up. You need, like, feet of concrete and lead. Like, eight inches of lead will stop all neutrons. Ah! Several feet of concrete! Hmm. 
Wait, what, why are you trying to stop neutrons? We're not. We're trying. Unfortunately, we can't use neutrons as a thing because so we can't. So then there's no need to worry about it. Why can't we use protons? Protons. There's no need to what worry What stops about protons? Them. Google. You're the one next to the keyboard. That spelled wrong. There we go. No, Let's no, no, this. no. I don't know. That's not... Uh, uh, proton radiation. So spelled wrong. Proton therapy. Oh, look at that. They already use it for freaking... So so we can... So we, we already have part of the globe Accelerators for it. Perfect. So the question is... What can we use to stop protons? Uh, power energy to treat cancer and cancer radiation. This has long been used. Proton therapy has shown promise. It's cancer. They suggested that proton therapy may side effects in the nutritional. I don't think this is what we want. No, it's not. What material? Ah, shielding materials. Just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn it. Ah, materials with high atomic numbers such as iron and lead. Like I said, nothing light. Iron's not too bad. For stopping protons, well, materials with low atomic numbers such as polyethylene are suitable for stopping neutrons. Oh, there you go. But we're using protons because we can't accelerate neutrons. Oh, perfect. Even better. Now, um, how, how, what's the distance that protons can fly through the air? Something tells me it's not very far. What does that mean? How far can they, before they're slowed down? What do you mean? Yeah. Because, oh. you know, I, I don't know about you, but. Air is a bit of a bitch. Because not only do we have to worry about the inverse square law, we also have to worry about the air stopping it. Mm -hmm. You know, you're gonna ionize a lot of air. It's gonna, it's gonna be freaking cool. You can see this, you can see this just beam, just. Boom. You know, you can't see the protons, but you can see the trail of ionized air that will leave behind you. And you know, like, you might cause electromagnetic pulse. It'd fry everybody's cell phones in the vicinity, but yeah, problems. It is what it is. But, but, what you're not going to have close to the particle accelerator anyways, but it might work on the drones. Maybe. So, there we go, folks. Well, why did, Mark Rover's an idiot. He didn't talk about this. It's a very real, it's one of the best directed energy weapons there are. Personally. Which one? Proton guns. Oh. Yeah. How many people have a personal proton gun? The U.S. military has proton guns. Yeah, not the average civilian. Well, why would you need one? A drone attack. Are you worried about a drone attack? On my apartment, <laughs> yeah. Uh, is the cartel coming after you? I don't know. You don't know? I don't. That's the thing. I don't know. I don't know when and where they're going to attack, but I need to be ready. Well, according to Mark, if you want to protect yourself from drone attacks, you just need to use other drones. I'll just get it. I'll just buy a proton gun off Amazon. <laughs> how much does Amazon? How much those things go for on Amazon? Well, um, if the ex, if the CT machine that Linus talked about today uh, said, if you have to ask how much it is, you can't afford it. The CT machine. Yeah, I'm not talking about a CT. These are toy. These are toy proton guns. I want a real, real, real proton. A gun. particle accelerator. Look up particle accelerator. I want a real proton gun. Oh my god! <laughs> You're just getting toys. Look up particle accelerator. <laughs> we could probably find one at Alibaba. These are books. Yeah, so you can build your own. Okay. Need to 
handheld. Handheld? <laughs> yeah, I wanted a uh, gun, right? Like a well, handheld thing. <laughs> I mean, I would have a computer uh, to do this because, you know, uh, d you know, I'm pretty sure when DIY, you... DIY, uh, DIY. Personal Large Hadron Collider. I don't need a Large Hadron Collider. And who the hell is going to dig a freaking 20 kilometer long tunnel? Tabletop accelerator. Make your own particle accelerator at home. There you go. It takes three minutes. Three minutes. Quite impressive. What is happening? Um. Uh. Most professional Vandegraaf. This is the Vandegraaf generator. I guess it technically accelerates particles. But we're not going to be accelerating protons to near the speed of light with this. Can I miniaturize this? Can I hold it in my hand? Uh, no. Uh, tried to make a handheld Tesla coil. It didn't work. Your problems are high voltage has a habit of... What are the comments? It's the most inefficient way to move the steel ball ever. <laughs> I want to see what the comments say on this video. Metallic strips that we have made on the plate, such that these two rails carry positive charges, and these four carry the negative charges. So effectively, there will be a circular electric field. Congratulations. If I wanted to build a rail gun, I'd go somewhere else. These ones will be positive, these ones negative. This positive. Okay. This actually would this actually work? Watched it. This is real. What? This is not movie magic. This is real. My ass is not movie magic. If I've learned anything, this is a ping pong ball covered in tin foil. If I've learned anything from Electro Boom, this cycle completes and hence it performs the rotation. I see. And mm. I see. I see. Yeah, I Professor, I want to see. This is. This is. This is. And this is your Vendigraph generator. Yeah, this is our Vendigraph generator. They used a piece of magazine. I guess. Where is the dome? You know, it's a ping pong ball. I don't think we need a Vandegraaff generator to do this. You have done this? Can we just can we just do this with a wallet? Or does it have to be high volt? They are getting up to speed. But how are... I still think this is real. You're watching it right now. Well, you can fake this, sir! They're ping pong balls! You can... I don't... I don't... We would need a Van de Graaff generator. It's been on my list, as is a Tesla coil of things to build at some point. This Tesla doesn't strike me as something Well, go to, the, go to the comments. See what the comments say. Ping pong balls coated in aluminum tape. Electrical charges supplied by the Van de Graaff generator. Great. Comments. Good work. Cool. Seven comments. Cycle. S sketchy AF, but I'm here for it. It's not very sketchy. It's just static electricity. Nice work. Hmm. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Point is... I think it's real. Whatever. I want to build an actual particle. We need a particle accelerator. For other experiments, too. I need to be able to accelerate protons. To, you know, near the speed of light. Where would I get one of those? Mm -hmm. We checked Amazon. 
I think we need to look up proton. Th Can we buy our own proton therapy machine? I think the I think the hospital sells theirs. Yeah, not in your price range, sir. We're, we're, can can do you does a to pay you well to, to to buy something from the hospital? Yeah, I don't think so. No, 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 no. You see, we're becoming defense contractors. That does not pay you enough to buy to go up to the hospital and bribe them she, to sell you. She water. doesn't need to. We're becoming defense contractors. We can get loads of investors, warmongers. All right, I'll I'll leave that up to you. Perfect. I'll go find some defense. Con I'll go find some people that are willing to invest in defense contractors. And when you're like, oh, I, I call your BS right now. I call your bluff. No well, way. Well, Tomorrow you are not going to wake up and start making phone calls. Well, when I have a proton therapy machine and I have millions of dollars and I'm shooting down drones. I'll be the one laughing. In the White Sands missile range. And when you ask, oh, can, Doc, can I have some money? No. No. You're not well, going to get any money from me. I'll, I'll be off on my own little excursion. Still... Uh, still huffing lead fumes working on batteries. I don't work on batteries. I work in the calibration lab. Oh. We've been over this. Oh, that's right. You changed. Either way, you're still going to be huffing lead fumes. I I've become enlightened. <laughs> With lead fumes. <laughs> I changed. I've become enlightened. By lead fumes. <laughs> I've came to my age... I came to the age of reasoning. With lead fumes. A new enlightened individual. That's what the Romans said about the lead in their water. The re Renaissance era. This is my era of Renaissance. Okay, that was coffee. So, uh, wait, hold on. That was all generated by the uh, conquering of other lands. Are you enslaving people on conquering lands that we don't know about? That was Industrial Revolution. No, that was post Renaissance. I'm that was the, the Enlightenment. That was actually post Enlightenment period. I'm talking about the Industrial Revolution, the 1700s. It's 1800s. The Age of Enlightenment was pre Industrial Revolution. Age of Reasoning, Cultural Movement in the 18th Century. That is the. 1700s, in case you didn't know. Right, but when did the Industrial Revolution start? Seventeen hundreds, like I said. Seventeen sixty, but like I like said, it's I said, still the 1700s. end. The industrial revolution is. It's an era, it, but it often no... marks the end of the Enlightenment period. It's still eighteenth century. It's still eighteenth century. Okay? okay. Sorry, sorry. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should be more specific. The American Industrial Revolution, which did start in the eighteen hundreds. I'm not talking about the American Revolution. No, industrial revolution. I was revolution. talking about the, um, the European Industrial Revolution. Okay. That's, that's where the Enlightenment was. That's where Newton and all them were from. You're Either up. way, but it's often said that the Industrial Revolution began... It was the end of the Enlightenment period. It began we're, not talking about the, we're not talking about the American Revolution. In, the American Industrial Revolution. I'm talking about the European. Britain. Yeah, but it still stands. 18th century. Okay, whatever, but it still stands. What does... The Industrial Revolution was the beginning of the end of the Enlightenment period. It doesn't matter. There's still a little crossover. Okay. I didn't. I never said there wasn't any crossover. I'm talking about it's 18th century. That's yeah, I see that. That's all I'm referencing. 1800s. Right. But it's the beginning of the end of the Enlightenment period. It's a, there's, a, there's an overlap. It's not like as soon as it ended, it started. I never said that. I do, I'm not going to... That's why I said beginning of the end. Are you listening to the beginning of the end? No. I don't want to... No, 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 no. We're just talking... I'm not talking about that. I don't care about that. I'm just talking about the era. Okay, great. I know. It started on some stupid hill in Britain when some guy built a freaking mill. Yeah. In the cotton gin. Well, no, that that, that was that was oh, some no, time yeah. later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whitney. See, remember when I said you're enslaving other people and taking over... That was the Enlightenment period. I'm not taking over land. That's not what but I'm that's talking what they about. Did. That's not what I'm talking about. But that's what they did. That's not the only thing they did. They took a sip of coffee and went, huh, and that guy looks different. I'm going to take his stuff. That's not what I'm talking about, though. But that's what they did. 
That's not what I'm talking about. Though. They, they did other things. Well, you're being you're, light. You're, you're making a stereotype over an entire era. They did other things than just one thing. You do realize that, they right? They also crashed trains. They just did shit. That, that, that's not what I'm talking about. They did other things. Anyways, either way, you're being lightened by lead. I don't mess with lead anymore. Too late. It doesn't go away. Remember that, kids. Lead just stays in the body. It doesn't go away. I think you interact with more lead than I have in a yearly basis. Mm, possible. No. I don't have a box of lead in my room. It's one time today. And I was wearing P, yeah, PPE. Oh, I'm sure you were. Gloves and a mask. I'm sure, you, I'm sure that's all it takes. One little woof. Yeah, one little woof of lead is not going to cause it. But repeated woofs, 40 hours a, a week. I don't do 40 hours a week of lead. Back in the day you did. I did not. Fine. Whatever. It was a week. It was one day of the week, and that one day was like not even an hour long, like a couple minutes, just to do your thing and then move on. Mm. We'll see. You they really made lead. you guys use leaded solder instead of non-lead. Yes, because you can. There, it is superior to non-leaded. Yeah, I know it's superior, but it's also toxic. But it is superior. The the benefit, the pros outweigh the cons. Isn't it? It's cheaper, too, isn't it? I don't know if it's cheaper. That's not the pros, though. Hmm. I guess it's not going anywhere we're going to have little kids going, eh, and the, licking it, so. Yeah, it's on the inside of an airplane. You ever had little kids lick the inside of an airplane? No, well, I don't know what they do. Well, I've seen it. Well, I'm sure you have. I've seen lots of things. Things you couldn't even imagine. I'm sure. Wow. What? Nothing. Anyways, like I said, it'd be worth millions of dollars. Just have to get a pro a proton therapy gun. Granted, it also has to be focused to infinity. So hopefully I don't know. I don't know how you it's not light, so you don't, I don't know if you focus it. How do you focus a proton therapy gun? I think they just by focusing it, I think they just have to change the power output. Interesting. How? Hmm. Either way, it'll be freaking cool. What I find interesting is... Yeah, that's just on little drones. No, but it was the dumbest thing. The, this Mark Rober video. When he showed, like, yeah, they just hit it with another drone. And I'm like... Okay. That seems like a... Is that really the best solution? Really, there were six solutions. Why can't, why can't I remember all of them? On the site dementia. No. Hmm. You're just a denier. It's okay. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. It just happened to you a little earlier than most. Actually, I think dementia sets in really early. And for you, it's not in no, like, 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 it just because your brain starts to deteriorate like soon. Oh, I'm sure it just has. takes years as we begin to figure out. Kind of like Huntington's. Well, think about it. You know, since you've graduated, think about how many years have passed. You haven't been using your brain. I use it enough. Yeah, I don't think it's sufficiently enough. No, but it's been used. Oh, uh, so you designing steel-lined boxes. We use it for other things. Like huffing lead. <laughs> oh, man, that joke's never going to get old. I'm sure you huff lead. You probably huff enough lead for the rest of us. No, 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 no. I mean, that's why you have a box, isn't it? No. I'm sure it is. It's to contain the radiation. Okay. Which is contained by the plastic. That's besides that's, the point. That's what you want to tell yourself. Anyways, you're in a mood today. I'd like to go for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. New podcast every Friday noon, such time, and good night.